This is an object which in this question is an uh, two centimeter high object and that is placed at a distance of 64 centimeter from a white screen. That means here the distance between the object and the image is 64 centimeter. Once again, it says the object is placed at a distance of 64 centimeter from the white screen and the image is formed in the screen. So therefore, we conclude that the distance between the object and that of the image is 64 centimeter. So if you make the diagram, it should be like this. Let's say this be the uh, principal axis. Let's make a lens here. Let this be a convex lens. It's mentioned in the question, it's a convex lens. You make a convex lens here. So this. Let this be the object here. We do not know the position of the object, but it's mentioned in the question that the its image is formed on the screen and on a screen only real image is formed. Also, you should know that in a convex mirror, if a real image is formed, it has to be on the other side of the object and it's real and inverted. What else we know from this question that the distance between the object and the image is 64 centimeters. So this is mentioned as 64 this one from here to here we know this as 64 centimeter right further on placing the convex lens at a distance of 32 centimeter from the object now what do we know that this distance we know from here to here now is 60 32 centimeters that's what it's given that uh, the distance between the object and the lens so Considering this to be the optical center, as you know, all distances are measured from the optical center. So this is this is 32. Once again, this is 32. If this is 32, so from the previous informations, we can say that let's write down this as 32. I'm writing this here as 32 centimeter. And the whole thing from here till here is 64. So we can also therefore say that the remaining distance that means from here to here is 32 centimeter. This is what the information we get. So that's very clear, very clear. So the distance of the object is same as the distance of the image and this is only possible when the object is placed as 2F1. So now we know the what is the location of the object? It is 2F1 and the image has to be at 2F2. Further, if you know that uh, this 2F1 is 32 centimeter, then focus must be at 30, uh, sorry, half of 32, that is, it should be 16, right? So this is say F1. So we can say finally that the focal length has to be of 16 centimeter. This is 16 centimeter. So the first question was this only is to find the focal length of the convex lens and the size of the image formed on the screen. So in order to find the size of the object, we can use the relation of magnification, which says that M is equal to M is equal to H dash upon H is equal to V upon minus v upon v, right? m is equal to s dash upon h is equal to minus v upon, no, it's v upon u, it's a lens, right? In a lens, it's v upon u. So let's uh, place these values, what we know, we know h dash, oh, sorry, the h dash is what we have to determine. We know the height of the object, that is two centimeter v, as we can see from the diagram, right? The distance of the images positive 32 as it is on the right hand side of the optical center and u that is uh, the object distance it's again 32 but it's on the left hand side so this is minus so we can reduce this right and find by cross multiplication it comes out to be this is one one that is minus two centimeter this is what the height of the object moreover you could have concluded without doing calculation Right. If it is mentioned in the question that uh, without calculation, you can even do by default. As you know that when the object is at 2F1, the image is formed at 2F1 and it is real inverted and equal in size. Therefore, 
uh, size of the image would have been two centimeter and should be real and inverted. Further that, uh, there is a diagram that you have to make for this. In that case, uh, the diagrams involved is something like this. First, you draw the object and draw a line parallel to the principal axis. It should pass through the focus after refraction. Let me use different color for it. So this is a parallel to the principal axis. It should pass through the focus after refraction. This is uh, F, right? This is F2. And the second ray you can make passing through the origin. This is the second ray. You can make it pass through the head of the object to the origin. And wherever it meets, that is what the diagram. You may indicate the direction of the rays of light. This is how it can be done. 